నమో నమ అందరికీ నమస్కారములు టుడే వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు స్టార్ట్ ఏ టాపిక్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఇన్ కంటిన్యూయన్స్ విత్ వాట్ వీ హ్యావ్ డన్ ఫర్ టూ డేస్ ఎర్లియర్ సనాతన ధర్మ బట్ టుడే వీ హ్యావ్ కస్టమ్స్ అండ్ మేనర్స్ ట్రెడిషనల్ కస్టమ్స్ అండ్ మేనర్స్ బై విశాలాక్ష గారు you all know her we have already had two lectures i have posted uh, the profile of vishala shwaru in the uh, group please go through it let us start with uh, prarthana aditi ji shuklam bharadaram vishnum shashi varnam chatur bhujam prasanna vadanam dhyaye sarva vigno pashantaye saraswati namastubhyam varade kamarupini విద్యారంభం కరిష్యామి సిద్ధిర్ భౌతమే సదా హరి ఓం శ్రీ గురుభ్యో నమ ధన్యవాదములుమహాగణాధిపతమహాభ్యాధరాజేశ్వరాభ్యామూర్త ఓం శ్రీ మహా సరస్వత్యై నమ ఓం శివాయ గురవే నమ ఓం నమ శివాయ చివాయ ఓం నమ శివాయ సర్వాగమాన ఆచార ప్రథమం పరికల్పతే ఆచార ప్రభవో ధర్మ ధర్మస్య ప్రిపురత్యుత ఎమాంగ్ ఆల్ ఆగమాస్ ఆచారాస్ హ్యాస్ కమ్ ఫస్ట్ సో ధర్మ కేమ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆచార the lord of dharma is achyuta that is shri krishna that is paramatma parabrahman <coughs> so the dharma uh, becomes stable by being practiced we can keep up dharma only by practice and customs and manners and traditions they are all part and parcel of our sanatana dharma dharma elevates us and enlightens our lives so aachara we say aachara means aacharate iti aachara uh, that which is being practiced is aachara we are trying to know about our sanatana dharma and we know that there are several points in sanatana dharma one of those points actually we spoke about 28 points and one of those 28 points is our traditions and customs Uh, they are called as acharas acharas sampradayas they are given to us by our sages they are coming to us traditionally from our ancestors so we are following all the customs and traditions that are given in the shastras in dharma shastras grusha shastras and also that come to us traditionally from our ancestors and forefathers there is a lot of science and health related and social aspects behind all these traditions and customs the word sampradaya we say this word sampradaya came from the root da yacha to give yachati we say with the upasarga sam and pra sam means samyak well completely pra means prakrishta that is great <coughs> daya means that which is given so that which is given to us by our ancestors after being practiced for a very long time by our elders so samyak pradayam sampradayam we say sampradaya so we use the word sampradaya in the sense of aachara or tradition we often say this is our aachara this is our sampradaya that is our custom mostly while performing upanayana vivaha and doing all dharma karyas etc differences will be there according to the places prantiya bhedas we say we can consider that dayam means that which is given to us by god that which belongs to us on which we got a sort of authority because it is given to us by paramatma by our ancestors and parents so if we give anything to anyone we call that as pradana pradayam prakrishtam danam dayam 
so to enjoy everything after offering that to god can be called as sampradanam sampradaya so sampradaya is that which comes to us traditionally and which we do and whatever we enjoy we should enjoy after offering that to god because everything came from god so that method is called as sampradaya paddhati by following which paramatma pleases so god gave us the way of life in the form of shastras to follow what is said in the shastras is called as sampradaya so if we follow what is given in shastras we get uh, shreyas that is auspiciousness we should follow sampradayas when we can lead a very happy life uh, not to follow sampradaya is called as asampradaya uh, which causes us miseries and sorrows afflictions in our life so we should must definitely follow the way of life which is given in our dharma shastras the rules and regulations that are being followed by which our body mind and intellect work properly which gives happiness here in this world and also uh, here after that is when we leave our body and go to higher regions even our uh, jiva as we say that also enjoys bliss there happiness there by following such sampradayas we should take such a food by which the sattvic gunas increase in us in our body and mind also we gain spiritual power by eating sattvic aahara which is first offered to god and thereby becomes prasada so prasada means favor anugraha of paramatma this is our sampradaya so actually the final aim of all traditions is to obtain auspiciousness by observing the methods that cause good to us and to the society so our sages arrange a certain particular way of life by which we can get the anugraha of god favor of god that method of life is called as sampradaya baddha jeevana the lives of us the sanatana dharma anuyayis is fully continued with sampradayas and customs from the moment we get up from the bed till we uh, go to the bed since our birth till we leave the body and go away so we are observing innumerable customs and acharas throughout our lives each and every custom got a scientific and health related secrets behind them uh, we should know that uh, till uh, almost recent time actually people used to uh, follow the footsteps of elders so uh, because most of them they know the reasons behind them so sincerely strictly they used to follow they never used to question even the elders whatever elders say they follow because they know that their well being is there in following them since childhood uh, all of us also they the elders our elders used to do the actions done by their parents and asked by them to do grandparents and all so whatever the elders asked us to do we should do without questioning because whatever they do they do according to shastras only what is given in shastras but nowadays children question so why should i do this the do that and all questioning is always of course it's very nice if they are inquisitive to know the reason behind it but with the but some of them Uh, they do not have respect for our traditions customs and all so they want to hickle them they are feeling that they are they are not reasonable rational scientific and all they are moodhanamakas as they say pragmatic and all so that is not good they want to enquire for argumentation which is not good so if people follow sampradayas they will get benefited certainly if they do not follow they are they are only the losers so there are scientific and health related uh, social benefits i said already behind following all the traditions customs and all especially shodasa samskaras which we are going to learn in detail in our co- course of study 
we got several kulacharas, matacharas, sankhika acharas, uh, which cause reyes to us. Says Gautama, Gautama Maharshi gave us traditions and customs through Dharma Sutras. Uh, he started Atha Acharan Pravakshyami. Achara Lapate Dharma, Achara Lapate Sukham, Achara Prapniyan Moksham, Tasma Dachara Machare. We get Dharma, Sukha, and even Moksha by following Acharas. Among such traditions, the very first one, according to Charaka Samhita, is Brahmi Muhurte Uttiste Rakshartham Ayushaka. That is, we should get up at early morning to live long during Brahmi Muhurta to protect our longevity. So Brahmi Muhurta time is from early morning, actually 2 to 6, but 3 to 6 a.m. we can say. So everyone should get up between 3 to 4 a.m., complete their Kalakrityas, that is doing Dantathavana, taking bath, etc. Then elders, they should do their Anushtana, children should do. Uh, those who got uh, Upanayana Samskara should do Sancha Vandana Puja Sandal. Others also should worship God and do Puja and then do their studies. They have to study Swathyaya during Brahmi Muhurta. They should learn by heart the mantras, slokas, lessons, and everything. So Shastra says that Apya Devatas transmit sin to us, to those who are sleeping during. A sunrise. Apya Amrujata Surya Apyudite is in Shastra. So if the 12 hours of midnight, uh, that night time, 12 hours of night time from evening 6 to morning 6 is divided into three parts. Then evening 6 to night 10 belongs to Mahalakshmi Devi. Then night to 10 to midnight to 2 then belongs to Goddess Parvati Mata. Uh, that is Mahakali Devi. And then night to 2 to early morning, 6 a.m. belongs to Goddess Maha Saraswati Devi. That is, they are the governing deities of those uh, periods. Because Saraswati Devi is called as Brahmi, belonging to Brahmadeva, the wife of uh, Brahmadeva, the creator. That time is called as Brahmi Muhurta. So during that time, the nature, our mind, uh, uh, then intellect, they are all very pure, very cool and perfect and also work very actively. So the atmosphere would be very clean, calm, neat and quiet. So whatever works we do at that time, we can do with much concentration. And normally when other, during other times, if we study 20 times to learn by God, if we study during Brahmi Muhurta, if we recite for 10 times, it can... It comes learned by heart. We, it comes to us. So that power is there during that time. If we study during Brahmi Muhurta, we can easily learn by heart anything, memorize. And also our mind will be very sharp. The intellect penetrates deep into that subject matter and the hidden points also we can, uh, the thoughts will come into our minds. If one gets up during that time and does his duties, his span of life also increases. When people are not getting athi, vyathi, sandal, it means their lifespan is increase, increasing. Tathapi vyathya dhyapava eva ayushaha, says Charaka Samhita. So, the great Ayurveda Grantha says that the span of life of those who get up at early morning time would be protected. So to have long life with good health is most important to everyone. Sharira Madhyam Khalu Dharma Sadhanam to achieve anything, to achieve our goal of life. Yeti Jeevanta Manando Naram Varsha Setadapi Jeevan Padrani Pashyati. If we are alive, we can see good even after 100 years. So now second important work we have to do is as soon as we get up from sleep, immediately we should do pranayama and dhyana, bhagavad dhyana with a peaceful, cool, calm mind. Either sitting on the bed itself or getting up from the bed and sitting on a very uh, sacred place. By doing pranayama, we can maintain good health. The span of life would be 
increasing by pranayama by bhagavad jnana we will be blessed by the favor of god and all our dharmika kamanas would be fulfilled so as soon as we get up from bed we should rub both the hands that is our palms seeing them and pray three shaktis with this shloka karagre vasate lakshmi lakshmi kara karamache saraswati karamule gauri devi or karamule stita gauri prabhate karadarshanam we should consider that these goddesses are there in our hands by rubbing both the palms we get the activity a sort of acupuncture uh, also takes place so the nerves will be and all the chakras that are there in our palm and hands uh, will be activated so after praying all the gods kula devatas ishta devatas pitru devatas and all we want to keep our foot on the ground so that is on the earth to walk and come out so at that time before keeping our uh, feet on the ground we should pray uh, goddess bhumata so we should pray samudra vasane devi parvata stana mandale vishnu patni namastupyam padasparsham kshamasvame so our scriptures taught us how to do danta thavana and snana etc we should clean our teeth and tongue with neem tree sticks vepa pullalu visaina or telugu or with the small sticks of uttareni tree because they give strength to the teeth and mouth tongue also in the olden days people used to go out taking a tumbler with water to what sort of places we should go and to uh, where we should not go is also given in our shastras then we should take our bath why we should take bath is also explained in shastras in charaka samhita and all other uh, samhitas also but here in charaka samhita there is a shloka దీపనం కృష్యం ఆయుష్యం స్నాన మూర్జా బల బలప్రదం కండూయ కండూమల స్వేద తంద్ర త్రుట్ దాహ మజిత్ బై డూయింగ్ స్నాన ద బాడీ గెట్స్ లస్టర్ కాంతి స్ట్రెంగ్త్ విగర్ దెన్ యాక్టివిటీ అండ్ లాంగివిటీ ఇచ్చెస్ విల్ బి రిమూవ్డ్ ద డస్ట్ వుడ్ బి వాష్డ్ అవే స్వెట్ ఎట్సెట్రా వుడ్ బి రిమూవ్డ్ not only these benefits still more benefits are there actually while taking bath our body the skin uh, drinks certain water there will be sveda granthis on our skin which absorb water when we take bath so that is very essential for our body to grow healthy and to shine with healthy luster in the olden days most of the people used to go to rivers and take bath before sunrise later on people started to do snana uh, at the bathrooms with uh, in front of wells taking water from the well they used to take bath but nowadays we are taking bath in the bathrooms now during night time the rays of moon moon is called as amruta kirana so that amruta tatva would be falling throughout the night uh, into those waters of rivers or uh, lakes or ponds or the wells also that amrutatva brings good health and increases the span of life when we take bath in um, bathrooms nowadays uh, taking water in the tumbler buckets and all then at least we should write either om or sri or swastik mark or something or at least keep our hand uh, without our uh, first finger that is pointing finger then we should utter certain mantra with the feeling bhavana that all the holy rivers water has come into this water and i am taking dip in uh, river ganges etc gangeja yamune krishne godavari saraswati narmade sindhu kaveri jalesmin sanithin kuru by doing snana not only the sharirika malinya would be removed but also we get eligibility to do daivika karyas karma anushthana that is why snana is spoken as one of nitya karmas స్నానం సంధ్యాజ పో హోమ దేవతానాం చ పూజనం ఆతిథ్యం వైశ్వ దేవం చ షట్ కర్మాణి దినే దినే విసే ఎవ్రీడే వి షుడ్ డూ దీస్ కర్మాస్ సిక్స్ వర్డ్స్ అవర్ స్మృతి సేస్ దట్ వి షుడ్ ఆల్వేస్ ప్రాక్టీస్ ధర్మ విచ్ కాజెస్ బ్లిస్ టు ఆల్ లివింగ్ బీయింగ్స్ 
without dharma no one can attain eternal bliss so therefore men should always be very dharmic righteous sukartha sarva putana mata sarvah pravrittaya ka sukham cha na vina dharma tasma dharma paro bhavet those who follow sishtacharas uh, that came to us traditionally would gain divine abodes higher regions after living full span of life here on this earth enjoying all sorts of happiness name fame health wealth etc on this earth ityachara samasena yam prapnoti samacharan ayur arogya maishwaryam yesho lokamscha shashvatan due to any unavoidable situations if anyone is not in a position to take normal bath normal bath with water pouring water completely over the body then he can do any of gauna snanas prescribed in the shastras they can do a bhasma snana sharirasya asamadhyat desha kalayo vaishamyat snanan yetani tulyani is said these are equal to normal bath when the body got affected by any sort of either diseases or something when there is no strength in the body weak very weak and all during traveling uh, when any calamity sakkar then one can wear bhasma bhasma or even go rajas the dust uh, behind the the, the the road through which the cow walks the dust particles which got the sparsha of go mata's feet that is more pious very pious and sacred so if we sprinkle that on our body that is also um, goparaga snana that is gauna snana and very good snana now among several gauna snanas manasa snana they say shreshtam manasam uchyate doing manasa snana is considered as the best mentally we should uh, feel we should think that we are taking dip in river ganges the holy water sacred waters of any river ganga mostly gautama maharshi said in gautama dharma sutras jalava gaho varunam phasmana agneyam gorajasa vayavyam apohistadi phir mantraihi brahmam snanam naphe naphe athaha prekshalanam urdhvancha ardravasasa sharira samarjanam kapilam advayananda chitsvarup vishnu chintanam manasam yattu aatapa aatapa varshe tat divyam snanam aatapa is sanheet uh, when that is to completely taking bath pouring water over the body and making the body entire body wet is uh, mukhya snana normal snana the main snana we say then bhasma tharana is considered as agneya snana to pour dust particles of cow on the body is called as vayavya snana to wash the lower parts of the body with water below the navel and cleaning the upper part of the body with wet cloth is called as kapila snana to sprinkle water over the body with the mantra sapo histamayo puha etc is called as brahma snana to think of and pray paramatman the nirguna niranjana advaita tattva sachidananda paramatma or any saguna sakara murti also is called as manasa snana when sun is shining in the sky and if it rains then we stand in the rain then that water falls on our body then that is called as divya snana divine snana these are the six varieties of gauna snanas given in the shastras in place of mukhya snana in sri rudra namaka namaka chamka sar deri namaka it is said namas tamraya charunaya cha mantra tamra means copper is very good for health pouring water in copper bowl during night time and next day morning if we drink that uh, then that would give us very good health we will not get any, any weakness at all and constipation will not be there if we drink that water what all truths were spoken by our sages long back all those truths are being proved by modern scientists nowadays with the help of machines after a lot of researches uh, now people scientists are saying that is vigyana shastra veta sir saying that whatever our sages told they are all true 
women wear several gold ornaments now men wear ear ornament uh, uh, ear ornaments that is only rings mostly uh, at the time of karnaveda samskara a little copper would be mixed in the gold ornaments we get health by copper and luster with the gold tasma tamra suvarnam dharyam ses taitriya brahmana our shastra spoke about the procedure of taking holy bath in the rivers first we should take bath at home fully wear washed clothes then we should go to the rivers and with sankalpa we must take three dips in the uh, holy river water sun should come out padhyam jalam na taadayet na ashuddho jalam pravishet sakrum mutra nishtivana retamsi apsu na apsu cha na kshipet we should not beat the waters with the legs we should not swim in the rivers beating the holy waters with hands and legs rivers are very holy so we should never leave any unholy excretes of our body into rivers veda spoke us about paryavarana parirakshana jala kalushya nivarana etc nowadays people are polluting water air etc everything and are saying that Uh, the environment should be taken care and protected it should not be spoiled shastra advises said what all we have to leave we should not do we should abandon in a shloka in several shloka it is given only one shloka this time giving himsa steyam anyatha kamam paishunyam sampinna alapa vyaparam avadhya drug viparyayam etc to afflict any living beings robbery robbing having illegal desires that is uh, having desires against to shastras tell telling prattling killing living beings not enduring the noble qualities of sadjanas and satpurushas etc they are all very bad qualities one should leave such bad qualities with efforts kama krotha tatha lopa dehe tishtanti taskara ज्ञान रत्नापहाराय तस्मा चेजेत सो वी मस्ट लिव काम क्रोथ लोप इफ वन इज देर इन अल विकेट क्वालिटी विल फॉलो वन आफ्टर अनदर द डिजर् एंगर ग्रीडीने दे आर् वेरी डेजर फर् दर् दाट ओनली फर् सर्वैवल आफ व्यक्ति अंड समि द समाज आलो अंड फर् एलवेटिंग अवर से दट इज ग्रेट हिंड्र if these are there in the body in any person in anybody they bring all bad qualities and spoil the entire life of not only those individuals but even the surrounding people the society also our shastra spoke about the clothes we have to wear sadasham akhandam akhandam shvetam thautam cha vastram dharayet raktam neelam malinam cha jeerna vastram varjayet we should wear such a cloth which has border which is in one piece that is not torn white colored and washed cloth we should not wear red colored blue colored and dirty clothes or which are torn or which are uh, spoiled and dirty even washermen used uh, blue color they say neeli rangu to wash the clothes shastra says that even that should not be applied to the clothes while washing them because vastra is sarva devata ka so vastram sarva devata kam says the shastra the cloth is god so we should wash the cloths carefully only with our hands without touching the feet while doing yagna yaga di kratus one should wear the cloths uh, which have border and also uh, which is washed always washed cloth and dried then untouched by others that is called as madi vastra we say we in our norm, in our shastra also it is there and in our tradition we call them as madi vastras that is sacred cloths prabhu smriti says uh, which colored cloths are to be used by whom brahmanasya sitam vastram rupate rakta mulbanam pitam vaishyasya sudrasya neelam malavadishyate so brahmins should wear white cloths kshatriyas red colored cloths and vaishyas should wear yellow clothes but we normally people are wearing all these colored uh, dhovatis or something 
కర్తవ్యం ఉత్తరం వాస పంచే శ్వేతేషు కర్మసు స్వాచాయ హోమదానేషు ఫుక్త ఆచమనయో స్థ వేద చైన దాన హోమ భోజన అండ్ ఆచమన వై డూయింగ్ ఆల్ దీస్ యాక్షన్స్ వన్ షుడ్ సటన్లీ వేర్ అప్పర్ గవర్నమెంట్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ అండర్ గవర్నమెంట్ దట్ ఈస్ దీస్ పంచ ధోవతి విసే అండ్ దెన్ ఉత్తరీయం ఆల్సో షుడ్ బి దేర్ శాస్త్ర సేజ్ దట్ ఫర్ పెర్ఫార్మ్ ఎనీ శ్రోత కర్మ సంప్రదాయబద్ధ వస్త్రధారణ ఈజ్ ఎసెన్షియల్ ఇన్ఫాక్ట్ విమెన్ షుడ్ వేర్ శారీస్ విత్ కచ్చబోసి విసే విన్ ఏ డిఫరెంట్ మేనర్ నాట్ యూజువల్లీ so mostly in tamil people ladies they always wear in the same method so men should wear proper clothes and ladies should wear sarees with uh, that traditional kacha so according to shastra so many shloka sarder mantra sarder japo homo danam yaga swachhaya pitrukarma swechacha they have given so many shlokas at what time uh, we have to wear these clothes and all so such smriti vachanas make it clear that if any one performs japa homa dana yaga swachaya and pitru karmas without applying viputi on forehead uh, either keeping kumkuma or viputi either tripundras or urtva pundras or something gopi chandana something should be kept on the forehead otherwise that becomes fruitless everything become wa- becomes waste they said shastra even if a person is impure or does not practice customs fully yet if ap- he applies bhasma on his forehead he becomes purified so vibhuti got such power of sanctity so this is said in phrugu smriti those who got sacred thread ceremony to them uh, and got yagnopavita they should always wear yagnopavita they should never remove that even for a single second at any on any cost so it is said thus in apastamba dharma sutras if that is jirna while removing also when new one is ready and when the new yagnopavita is put on the body then only they have to remove the jirna yagnopavita ఉపాసే గురూణా వృద్ధానా అతిథీనా హోమే జప్య కర్మణి భోజనే ఆచమనే స్వాచ్ఛాయే చోపవీత సో ఇట్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఎసెన్షియల్ టు వేర్ యజ్ఞోపవీత వైల్ డూయింగ్ సంధ్యావందన గాయత్రి జప ఎక్సెట్రా ఆల్ నిత్య కర్మాస్ దెన్ నైమిత్తిక కర్మాస్ ఆల్సో హోమాస్ వైల్ సర్వింగ్ గురుస్ డూయింగ్ గురు శుశ్రూష వృద్ధాస్ అతిథీస్ అండ్ ఆల్ and while doing japa pojana achamana etc uh, that sanjanyamu uh, as we say that uh, should always be there yagnopavita on the body of the person so all human being should do sancha vandana sancha upasana those who got upanayana samskara and got got gayatri mantra padesha should certainly do trikala sancha vandana and do japa of that mantra during sancha samaya those who did not undergo underwent uh, this upanayana samskara and could not get such mantra padesha also they can do ishta devata nama smarana nama itself is mantra uh, becomes mantra when it is chanted during sancha samaya so they can read any devata stutis shlokas or anything nama japa if any other mantra is given to them they can do that mantra japa also during sancha samaya then that be- becomes as powerful as that of gayatri mantra japa we can worship sancha samaya as sancha devata if we do pranamas to god during sancha samaya that becomes sancha vandana so sancha ya vandanam sancha vandanam aho ratrasya yas santihi surya nakshatra varjita ప్రాత సంఖ్య సమాఖ్యాత ముని పిహి తత్వదర్శి పిహి సో దాస్ దే స్పోక్ అబౌట్ ద ప్రాత సంఖ్య మాచానిక సంఖ్య సమయ సాయం సంఖ్య సమయ సాల్సో ద టైమ్ డ్యూరింగ్ విచ్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు దే హ్యావ్ టు డూ సంఖ్య వందన సో డ్యూరింగ్ మార్నింగ్ అండ్ ఈవినింగ్ టైమ్స్ డెఫినెట్లీ వెన్ సన్ అండ్ మూన్స్ ఆర్ నాట్ విజిబుల్ ఇన్ ద స్కై దట్ టైమ్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ సంఖ్య సమయ మార్నింగ్ అండ్ ఈవినింగ్ ఉభయ సంఖ్య 
do the word sancha is kalavachika indicating a certain period of time yet the deity worshiping uh, worshiped during that time is called as sancha devi sancha mata sancha stuti is there in our vedas uh, the traditionally coming custom sat sampradaya in our sanatana dharma is to honor mother father uh, acharya and gurus guru and atithi matru devo bhava pitru devo bhava acharya devo bhava atithi devo bhava our sampradaya says atithi vai narayana ka atithi is equal to god equal to sriman narayana we say that is god when any atithi comes to our house we must first provide asana then should give arghya padya and then provide him very good food bhojana with much devotion and honor samprapta samprapta yatu atithaye pradadyad asanodake annam cheva yatha shakti satkrutya atithi atithya purvakam our shastra says he who himself eats uh, food without uh, offering food to atithi uh, is eating sin kevaladyo ke bhavati ke kevaladi kevala akho akha akha means sin papa kevala akho bhavati kevaladi if he eats himself without offering to atithi whatever he is eating becomes sin papa kathopanishad speaks about the calamities uh, that are going to occur to a gurukasta if any atithi comes to the house and does not eat anything and remains nirahara in their house a small boy by name nachiketa goes to the abode of yama dharma raja and remains 3 days there without eating anything without even drinking anything and without sleep then because yama dharma raja was not there at that time uh, so he waited till yama dharma raja returned home uh, he came home on fourth day after arriving uh, there he worshiped nachiketa as the incarnation of brahman sakshat so does even gods do ati, give atithya do atithi puja and then yama dharma raja because he made this uh, atithi wait for 3 days for him he granted three boons and then uh, nachiketa also he has selected three boons and yama dharma raja gave all it's a very good story so the boy nachiketa sastra three boons which are very intellectual one is related to aihika ihaloka second one is related to heaven uh, here after third one is about paramatma brahma gnana atma gnana so grihastha sasha pratiksha etc they say so many mantras shlokas are given there now another most next most important point in our uh, sampradaya of our uh, sanatana dharma of uh, another point is uh, the our sages told what sort of food is to be uh, eaten by us at what time and to how we have to eat how much we have to eat all these are given this is also there in our sampradaya to follow that custom then aahara suttho sattva suddhi we know that so we should eat only sattvik aahara very tasty food limitedly which is prepared very neatly with pious feelings even uh, the feelings are very important while cooking even they will have their impact on the food whatever we want to eat that should be first offered to god and then after offering as naivedya when it turns into prasada then we should eat it so that prasada gives us good health strength peace and purity peace of mind and then purity and all at the time of eating we should recite, uh, recite certain shlokas brahmarpanam brahma kavih i think all of you know all these shlokas अहम वैश्वानरो पूत्वा प्राणिना देहम आश्रितः अंडन अन्नपूर्णे सदा पूर्णे शंकर प्राणवलपे आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ यू आर अवेयर ऑफ ऑल दीस श्लोकस इवन चरक संहिता एंड गुह्य सूत्र आल्सो एक्सप्लेन ऑल दीस पॉइंट्स आवर सेजेस टोल्ड अस क्लियरली एज टू व्हाट सॉर्ट ऑफ फूड वी शुड शुड बी टेकन एट व्हाट टाइम इन व्हिच सीजन 
uh, seasonal food we have to eat, what benefits we are going to uh, gain by following these methods and all customs, and uh, what if we do not follow them, what sort of diseases we are going to get, what sort of defects are going to befall on us, all these are very well explained. Uh, they said, uh, our sages, they said that we should we should take water that is actually uh, in our hunger, half of the part uh, hunger should be filled with solid food, annamu, etc. Then remaining half, half of the remaining half, that is one fourth of total should be filled with liquids, milk, water, buttermilk and all. Then one fourth of total should be kept, kali uh, as we say, that should be uh, kept for air to enter there so that the food which we ate can be digested easily. So that is very great secret of even Ayurveda to keep up our health. Now, Apuktva Amalakam Pachyam, Ayurveda says, Puktva tu badari phalam, kapitham sarvada pachyam kadali na kadachana. It's good to eat Amalaka, that is Usri, as we say, at the empty stomach. After eating food, badari phala, regu, fruit can bear fruit, should be eaten. Kapitha, velaga fruit is very healthy for always we can eat it. It's very good for health. But kadali na kadachana, they said, this Ayurveda. Banana fruit should never be eaten at any time. In fact, even badari, uh, even uh, this uh, banana fruit got very noble qualities in it. It gives strength to people, those who are very lean and weight is not there. If they every day eat one banana, they, they will put up weight. Neredu and Velaga fruits are very good for health. Suppose by mistake, unknowingly, uh, if either hair or our nails went inside the stomach, then by eating Velaga fruit, then Neredu fruits, they will either they dissolve or come out. They got such uh, magical powers, we can say, that herbal power. Normally, banana is very useful uh, in manifold way because bananas are considered as very pious and sacred, most sacred fruits which are to be offered to God first. All gods, they like banana fruits because they are sacred fruits. Um, but normally, sugar patients, if they eat them, their sugar levels will be increasing. Banana fruits cause kapha and increase vata. That is why Ayurveda prohibited eating banana. Usrikaya, we say amalakam, it's very good for health. So, it got plenty of C vitamin in it. But it should not be eaten after sunset and also during Sundays or on Saptami Tithi days. Our elders never used to even utter the name. They used to say black pickle. Nalapachadi. So, if they have to uh, be eaten, if any child wants to eat that, elders used to prohibit. They used to say, no, you should not eat. Why? They gave so many scientific reasons also, in fact. Uh, so, our Shastra says, Bhanuvare divaratram saptamyancha tatha diva thatri phalam naram syadhi alakshmi van bhavet sada virya hanihi yesho hanihi prigna hanihi tatha ivacha Pavid yasma tato ratru tatrim yetnena varjayet. So, by effort, we should avoid eating tatri during nights. The amalaka should not be eaten on Sundays full day completely. And during night time, uh, day and night also, on Saptami Tithis also. Then, if eaten on those days, one loses his bigger fame, intellect. After keeping fasting on Ekadasi day, suppose on Dwadasi Titi, they can do Parayana with this Usrika, this Amalaka fruit. On Sundays and Saptami Titi, Amalaka should not be eaten during daytime and night because uh, sun, after sunset uh, should never be eaten on any other days also. The scientific reason behind this is because it got a lot of C vitamin, it got the capacity to give activity to the person. So whoever eat the, these amalaka on those days, whenever they eat, they become very active and they stimulate the nervous system very much. 
and intestines also mostly the intestines become very energetic eager and they want to uh, swallow and absorb whatever is near to them so if during night time they eat or uh, these uh, on these prohibited days if they eat the the food that is eaten they cannot digest properly uh, by the indigestion the acidity arises the acidity may develop and sometimes even we feel that the heart pain in heart has come though that may be acidity because a sort of burning sensation will occur in the heart due to this eating usri so the another reason uh, behind this prohibition is because a lot of energy comes actually the energy should come into the person during day time because during day time we do a lot of work uh, we go here there and all we need energy but during night time when we are sleeping when all the sense organs uh, indriyas and mind they are all sleeping if a person is active means he will not sleep he will not get sleep at all so that is the main reason also so this is so our people advise that we should not eat during night time the so and saptami tidi and all, for all these things the same reason so these are the main two reasons and because surya bhagavan is the governing god during sundays and saptami tidis uh, this usri should not be eaten because that's very much favorable to uh, him because it, more activity will be created than on other days so because of that excessive activity which is going to come may spoil the health of our body our sage asked us to think of sage agastya kumbhakarna karna then shaibya badavanala at the time of eating food so that uh, they they got the capacity to turn even the poison into nectar so agastyam kumbhakarnam cha shaibyam cha badavanalam annakale పఠేద్యస్తు విషమీ అమృతాయతి మెనీ మోర్ సచ్ సీక్రెట్స్ అండ్ గ్రేట్ థింగ్స్ ఆర్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఇన్ అవర్ సనాతన ధర్మ ఇన్ అవర్ కస్టమ్స్ అండ్ ట్రెడిషన్స్ సచ్ సంప్రదాయాస్ వెన్ వి గోట్ అండ్ రిటర్న్ టు హోమ్ వి షుడ్ నాట్ ఎంటర్ ద హౌస్ డైరెక్ట్లీ వి షుడ్ గో టు ద బాత్రూమ్ వి షుడ్ టేక్ బాత్ చేంజ్ ద డ్రెస్ వేర్ వాష్ ద క్లాత్స్ అండ్ వి హ్యావ్ టు కమ్ to ward off any sort of diseases bad bacteria to enter into our house in the olden days bathrooms were there outside not in our rooms as it is now at present so when they when we go out the dirt and bacteria will definitely cling to our body and the clothes in the olden days our elders used to cook wearing holy clothes madipattalu as we say the washed and dried clothes which are never touched by others so no one uh, touches those cloths they know that they are uh, different so if anyone touches them elders used to again wash them and uh, make them dry or uh, if time is not there they used to wear the same so even children never used to touch even all the pickles are kept in big jars and kept at ataka we say the place uh, at upper place and a little quantity would be taken into small jars Uh, so that to keep up the sanctity and holiness and uh, purity and uh, suprata swachchata also to that so that madi is nowadays uh, actually at present when we got this corona this made us recognize and follow all our traditions and customs perfectly even this madi is being followed by each and every human being of the entire world they are now following the same old traditions which our ancestors sages gave to us um, because of this corona now world recognized but our sages long back they gave us now another most important uh, custom of our sanatana dharma and our sampradaya and traditions is to do pranama to elders doing namaskara we never shake our hands with others uh, if we shake hands with others whatever dirt is their sweat is their to their hands that will cling, cling to us and whatever dirt is in our hand uh, that may pass it on to them so that's not at all a good habit at all so we ha- we should do namaskara from at a little distance 
we never hug unless they are our children our own sisters brothers uh, like that so foreign culture is different they give shake hands they hug that's not good in fact of course to express our love regard to express our regard <coughs> Uh, respect we bow down and salute uh, small children own children we hug to express our love and affection even that even by small touch we can express so there are different ways of expressing our feelings also uh, instead of getting bad bacteria diseases and all allergies etc <clears throat> so we should take care of our health by following our uh, traditions and customs in the olden days our elders they used to keep a separate room for uh, child lap we say balin taralu as we say so a separate room would be allotted to her and one lady would take care of her providing all facilities and all uh, till the, uh, that is immediately after the delivery for up to 3 months definitely she used to stay there with all facilities and that room would always be very neat very clean very pious and all so because children and such women they are of very delicate health so at that time they will they are easy, it is easy for infections they are prone for infections so they used to take care of in such a way so for day and night they used to take care of uh, the child and child's mother the babies and women in child lap balintralu as we say would be having very less resistance and also if any outsiders come and touch the baby infections may come so they never used to allow outsiders except family members till the baby gets third month but nowadays uh, on the very first day when the delivery is over and the mother and child has come to the room uh, they use sanitizer and they are taking the child into laps so we should follow whatever our elder sages said for our own well being uh, now there are so many other points let us continue tomorrow uh, the maharsh our maharshis explained us how and when to sleep and how to sleep and how many hours we have to sleep etc uh, that we will continue tomorrow if any doubts are there you can ask me swasti Any any questions? Anybody? <clears throat> any questions? Uh, if no questions, uh, Aditi, please chant prarthana. Sarve bhavantu sukhina ha. सर्वे सन्तु सर्वे भद्रा पश्य कचि दुख भवे ओं शाति 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 धन्यवाद गुरु धन्यवाद स्टैंड अप एंड देन सिंग नेशनल प्लीज जनगणमन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंधु गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्छल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तव जय गाथा जनगण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे जय हिंद धन्यवाद मिलें चिट्ठी